Hello, and welcome to a wonderful Tremere completionist run where we're gonna be doing absolutely friggin' everything. I have a cat on me, that's why this is a bit awkward, but it's okay. It's okay. The cat can be wherever he wants to be. There we go, I can move in a tiny bit closer. First line of business, I think, is gonna be actually getting morphine for... How's he called? Um, Mercurial. Yeah. I know where the morphine is. Hoping that we can get in with our packing abilities. At uh, your convenience, please come and visit me in my hometown downtown. I'll leave you this guide to you. Dark blood or curse, a light disperse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent, and we are gonna be going after Mr. Strauss because, well, we're gonna align ourselves with Mr. Strauss in the end of this run, hopefully. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with address. Come on over after you have settled. Try to close letters with exit again. Email Sunrise Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Satan. Dang, it's big, you know. Penis enlargement. Watch the girls come running. Call today. Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further. With Utter Kilpatrick's Amazon crime putter. Amazing! Yeah, Amazon. It's it's Amazon branded, don't worry people. You can find almost anyone with a record, and these days that's just about everyone. Welcome! Hey, welcome to town! Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up the explosives right now. Some astralite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street. Game begins! A pawn is moved, and what a pawn indeed. Alrighty then, our first stop is the hospital. But we're gonna need that morphine, though we're gonna take the both regular hospital route and the less regular hospital route, because we're also gonna be making ourselves a ghoul. <laughs> hey, hey lady. You, you got some change, lady? You hungry? I am too! We do seem to be alone in the alley. Oh, there we go! I terrified the homeless man! I am not planning on actually eating the homeless man because I'm fine on wood right now. Oof! My skirt! My skirt is going places. And so is Mercurio. Is totally going home. I would say her appearance is really a vibe. I I like her arm decorations or whatever that is. But her skirt does look like it was going, made out of a curtain to I forgot that you even existed, so like I don't even know who you are. How do I know you? Oh man, wait! Say that again. Okay, do I know you? Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What the hell are you smoking? Come on, you are too. Oh man, don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just wanna talk. All right, let's talk. Hell yeah! I knew it! I just- Oh jeez, I knew you were- I just could tell! I, oh man, this is great! And then I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! I literally don't remember you existing, but you did. How- How do you know all this? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! 
Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. Okay, dude, whose ghoul are you and why are you networking on the street? What's a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Are you Bertram Tongue School? Who was this nasty dude? Oh man! I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? I love the fact that you have a picture of, like, a little Dracula on your shirt. Don't be an idiot. Of course you can tell me. Hey, chick. Just because I'm a ghoul and you're some... Cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh man, you make me so mad. I apologize, what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> you around! He is totally a Bertram Tongues person. I mean, who else would you refer to as a nasty dude? Of course. You mean nasty in a bit of a. Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. I'm here to work on the network upstairs! Nobody told me to expect any technicians. Call whoever is in charge. I don't care. I get paid by the minute. Fine, whatever. Here's the key for the second floor. <coughs> Stairs are down the hall. Tell the guard upstairs you're here to work on the network. Thank you. I will. Believe Goodbye. Me. Jesus Christ, that was easy. No lockpick required. Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. I see what I can do. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there, and I think she's gonna die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her. Keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Dr. Roberts, a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Oh, what time is it? How is he not fucking dead if you have a man with a bullet in his head? <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can't save you. Maybe my blood can save you! It just... Yeah, it sucked the un... I just noticed our skin tone's literally fucking great. Um, no wonder the ghoul noticed me. Um, anyone would notice me. I would notice me. Hello! You're alive, I see. You alright? You... Who, uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? You just drank somebody else's blood and you need to ask that question. Nothing! I must go now. Have a happy life. Gonna be, gonna be fine. Um, let me just... 
close the nope. Not closing the door? Okay, you just speak creepy. You just you you stay there being creepy, it's fine. This area is for hospital staff only. You're much too handsome to be working in a place like this. Uh miss? Wanna find out if you're dre dreaming? Mm -mm. Thanks for the keys, lovely. It's much appreciated. I kinda ate you through the door. It's okay though. I can't get through the medical safe. bottle so we have estrogen we have a prescription bottle this this should do I hope that is definitely the staff room this is security maintenance room key there's a maintenance room somewhere in here. Camera one. Okay, um... So we can't disable all the cameras, but we disabled some of the cameras. So that's the maintenance key. I think maintenance just leads to the rooms that we just came from. It also leads down. If I ever really wanted to explore what is down there. Yeah, that's room one, that's room two. Got some drugs, none of it is morphine though. This is this is down. <laughs> this is definitely where we already were. Computers for grandma. Should have a pretty good learning actually. Pill bottle. Let's quickly unlock his room. Ah, thankfully, got got my morphine. Got my morphine. Good, good.
That that would be the access to the uh, to the place with the gold check. So we have this way uncovered now. Don't particularly want to use it right now. So let me just. Exit through the side, and now we can go and see Mercurio. So before we do, uh, can uh, I? Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? Can I take you to an alleyway? What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? I should have listened to my mechanic. By German, he said. And that's how you got a dog. Terribly sorry to trouble you. My wallet has been stolen and I need to take a cab. Oh, actually, meet me in the alley. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? I would love to join you. Let's let's both go to that dark and foreboding alleyway over there. Where I can drink your blood. And nice privacy of blood drinky place. Yes. I'm so surprised that I actually managed to get everything that I needed with the morphine and everything. Hey, the guy's not even facing me, which is nice. Don't need to look him in the eye. I'm going to need to bathe when I get home. You're implying that I'm dirty. Are you upset that I jumped on your back? Is that it? I feel like you're implying that I'm dirty right now. Throw in a save. Hello! Those mothers rip me off. I'm dying here. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. You want me to call the ambulance? What? No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. What happened to you? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. a rib I would say you got five minutes to live tops I'm lying here bleeding to death and you're cracking wise I don't need this crap okay okay just tell me who did this to you goddamn chemist can't trust any operators in LA I verified him organization seem reliable the guy mixes up speed his crew sells it occasionally does explosives I set up a drop I show up at the beach with the money right four of these guys they come out of nowhere junky pricks hit me with a bat <coughs> It feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Vamp blood? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month, I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So, where do I get the astrolite now? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. To be fair, I think he has less gray hair than I do. But disappointing. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' Yes, I want friggin' directions. Yeah, right. Uh down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach on the right. 
Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I already have some. Hold still. Oh, oh holy Christ, I needed that. You're welcome. I'll come back when I have the astrolite. Goodbye. One more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, hey. So that's off to a good start. We actually got Mercury or his morphine this time around. And breaking into that bloody place was pretty easy. Okay. Beach. In the beach, we are gonna... Talk. Who did Thin Bloods again? I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago up in Malibu. I was gone on the beach, but like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? No, I ain't seen shark bites. This was something different. Like, whatever killed him, you know, the head was missing, the hands were missing, and, and there were these huge slashes, but... Bullshit. No, no, the guy was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon, and You know, I don't... I don't feel jealous that the guy got to see like a really mangled corpse, okay? That's that's not... but like that... That feeling that you're not entirely safe or that somebody is watching you just... Off to the side. That's... That's a fully on haunted house experience. I would... I would love that. Sometimes you just really gotta feel not safe. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you are looking for. How did you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Weird. Well, that's new. Thanks. I'll grab the steak. I'm pretty sure that you can sell steak and blood to one of the Thin Bloods, but... You can also just tell him that everything's gonna be okay. Which is my preferred method of dealing with things, honestly. Definitely fucked. Now I because this is our second playthrough. I do kinda wanna explore a tiny bit. How much background did they build, do you think? God damn it, guys, this is detailed. What did you need the full building in here for? I 
Oh, okay, if I move towards it, it disappears, but that's understandable. So that's just the background. Is this even a ship? Inside of these houses are, of course, completely empty. Arbor Grill, Burgers, Fries, Sodas, Chubby's Taco Shack, Banana Split. Oh, there's like a full-on Ferris wheel in here. So that's the Ferris wheel, that's the cops. That's where those people were talking. Like, over here. No, actually it isn't. Interesting. Ooh, the dankness. Ooh! Okay! Ooh, background. So this area is less involved. Damn, that's so impressive. Okay, time to go down on the floor but not through it. And no clip again. Ah! I can feel the ground underneath my feet again. Perfect. That was fun! A lot more detailed than what I expected, honestly. You know, I never did that before. I feel like I should no clip from time to time and just... I suppose the ships are like for this view over here. There's absolutely no reason why they needed to model the other side of those houses, so that's interesting. Hello. <laughs> Evening. Are you okay? It's n n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. E evening. You see some guys come through here with bats? I, I, I don't know. Uh, t t talk to E. A g guy without a shirt. Right. That's that's E. Um. Uh. Uh. Do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? The head vampire dies. We all become human again, right? If he's killed with the holy stake, sure, are interested in purchasing it. Okay, but first I had another question. How about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? You can try to not let your condition defeat you. I'm not gonna be a total dick. Next playthrough, I am gonna be a total dick, but not this playthrough. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. The dead can never live again, but they can survive, do you understand? It's gonna be okay, champ. I mean, yeah, he's a thin blood and they're highly haunted, but he still gets to live a long time, so, Listen, you know. It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, alright? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. That's cool. Mind if I chill with you? Be my guest. But you be the first. Most of the time you type just run us off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. Why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down Hello with Satan! It's Hell, late night we? Friday. Show, right? Bloodlines. Seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. How did 
did this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's well been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but... <laughs> Say hi to wifey. So Hope you two are doing well. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now. A mystery to myself. I wonder how long does the thin bloodness last? Because if you read the tooltips, it goes, oh, you know, some of them are so thin that they can reproduce and shit. And actually be fairly mortal. Well, if Lily here is generation 14, then he's 15. Wonder if he can still sire. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I'll ask around, see what I can dig up. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Huh? Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Oh. Any idea where I might begin looking for information? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. I see what I can do. And uh, it's kind of, it's kind of sweet. He's trying to look out for all three of them. Um. Oh. It's his friends. You have me. No, no, you are going to China. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Well, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh. <gasps> Oh god, oh god, run! I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. I ain't disregarding what you're s You have a gift, please. It's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis. And to the home of the stars. And then returns fulfilled. And empty once again. Do you mean the gargoyle cinema? The one in Hollywood? Can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Can you tell me my fortune? I'll pay you. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. A hundred? I'll give you twenty. Here's my question. Then ask again. Do 
Who can I trust? The man on the couch, the lone wolf, all others tread carefully. The lone wolf, I actually don't know whether she's referring to Jack or Beckett. The man on the couch is fuck knows. Who are my enemies? Men. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. What's going to happen in, to me in the next few nights? The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Any advice at all? Something that could save my life? Don't open it. Oh! Oh, that's that's good advice. So who has a job that I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. So am I gonna win after all is said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. What? <laughs> yeah, I own it on Steam, I'm sorry, what? In fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. Right. I'll come back when I have another question. Well, this is the second playthrough. We haven't spoiled anything in our first playthrough. And we do know all the major plot points by now. Yeah. Relax! I'm here to buy you know from you know who. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. I remember that, thanks. You guys are over there. Oh, Jesus, I haven't thought about that. You're probably correct. You're honestly probably correct, Mercurio. Just told us that Mercurio is trustworthy. Hi, money. Well, more like Mercurio's money, but my money now. They don't have blood in the fridge, if I remember correctly. I need to find their boss. Bossy cakes! I've, I've been around in the circle. Is that one of the front... Yep, that's, that's the side door. You telling me that this is like the only way to get in? Okay, here's here's where it is. Yeah, that is what I love about this business. Fine women come to my house for my shit. I don't even gotta call them on the phone or nothing. Say there, pretty lady. What can I hook you up with tonight? What you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, reds, black, you pick a color. I'm looking for something different. Got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. 
Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Husband got the house and the divorce. Hey, look over here. Looks homemade. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Anything else you take besides cash? Mm-hmm. I'd be open to negotiations. Question is, how open are you? Want to send your buddy out of the room and find out? Yo, go check the odometer on my car. Now, I'll give you what you want, but I got what you need. Let me show you a new trick I picked up. This guy was literally gonna give me $250 worth of explosives for a single blowjob. That's amazing. Um, but, um, he's... He's about to be eaten to death. I ain't gonna stop. It's not the kind of guy that I stop for. He did feel happy in his remaining moments, which is uh, more than he deserved. Up. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find the exit. Thank you. Yeah, your, your boss is a bit dead. Otherwise, you're fine, guys. That was minimum casualties. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, such a shame. How could I? Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I wonder what that was all about. I did talk to all of them though, so we have to find Lily for E again. We have to visit the Kilpatrick again. Thankfully Mercurio already has his... Morphine. My brain stopped responding for a second. And now give him his Astrolite and his money back. What's up, girl? Okay, he doesn't have any extra information for us. I swear, he has to be a ghoul of Bertram Tongue, though. There's literally... Are there any other Nosferatu in Santa Monica? I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't keep track of the guy. Did you die on me? Uh, I got the astrolite back. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Any that were in my way. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? I did. Here it is. Oh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabbat interest. How do I find this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Why? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She ain't a sister, Jeanette. They run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. I guess I will go and see her. Goodbye. I think I need everything that I need to know over here. Definitely will want to see Kilpatrick because that's going to start a long line of things. But also, 
Oh yeah, cafe, cafe, cafe. We can't just... We're not psychic. Actually, are we psychic? Are we psychic? If I go in there... And I get to her... Does the game consider it to be valid? That's my question. Oh yeah, that's the upstairs. Wrong side, sorry! Through this door, then through this door. I just wanna see... Would she be there? Would she just be there? <laughs> Oi! You never know! You never know! That is locked. I remember being a panel. One of the fridges. I don't think it's this one though. Alternatively, next to one of the fridges. isn't closing anymore. Yep, it was here. It was here. <laughs> Laundry room. Yes! Freezers! Passcode. Okay, we're not that psychic. You try to, if you try to enter the freezer early, it just comes up with an error. Good to know. Alrighty then, I'll do it the proper way. At least we have a nice and tidy back door into there. Don't need. Use the front blood bank entrance. Don't actually need to get through a door because we have already accessed it from the other side. Megahertz computing. I'm pretty sure that that is involved in the quest, and I do remember foxy boxes. Oh, I remember foxy boxes. Why do I remember foxy boxes? Mr. Milton. Okay, have fun lurking. You realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. This is literally you! Durban, as it is a two man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Oh my god, I just realized you are the killer! Something I can help you with. Life would be so much easier if you could, friend. I guess. Are you waiting for someone? You're not eating. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Goodbye, then. What'll it be, honey? You ever see any pale, kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? Have you heard for heard the term thin- I'm pretty sure. 
Going around screaming Thin Bloods actually breaks the masquerade. Thin Blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Where did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Joe, why not? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so now we have Lily's belongings. She has a picture of herself. Purse. I can read computers for grandma. To begin, put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer. Chip the enhanced electronic pixie that can do 4.8 billion calculations per second. Wow, that's fast, Chip. Do you see an image on the magical computer window? Reading this will boost your computer knowledge. Alrighty then. Okay, well we have her picture now. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. Hi! Hello there. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? I have a few questions. Sure, honey. What is it? Have you heard about anything about the murders and stuff? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Can I ask you about something else? Sure, honey. What is it? Here's about your business. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? You run this place? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. Good choice. <laughs> Bounty hunter, now that's an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Is the bounty hunter you have now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe I could find them for you instead. Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Yeah, I guess I could. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. You answer question. Sure, honey, what is it? I don't actually know what I want. So never mind. Um I would love to open her purse. Ah, there we go. Rolf Toten. And the American people, the people of Earth, you An R. Oh. Let's see. He doesn't mind me using 
his computer. That's such a violation of GDPR. Bond written, immigration case, bond amount fifteen thousand dollars. Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Car. Let's listen for which one they prefer. Okay. Man, care to participate in a taste test? Here, try this leading brand of chicken. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that weak old fish? Now, try this. Oh, oh this is some good chicken. What is this? Sir, take a test for me? Sure. Um, oh, oh. Seriously, Arthur, your father wanted me to write you to tell you that he has a boil that is three inches across. You really need to come visit and see this thing. Jesus. Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Because that's some good friggin' chicken. I mean... Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! <laughs> She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to make a deposit. <laughs> Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Say goodbye to yellow teeth and spots in your dirty dishes. It's incredible. Look at that. I am just listening to the ads, I'm sorry. Dinner plates. <laughs> Harnessing the secrets of ancient Egypt, now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful, it doesn't just leave your dishes spotless, it actually whitens your teeth. Patented timerly spirit toys remove caked on food and grease and remain on the plate to be absorbed into your food to clean your teeth while you eat. Dazitron, the dishwashing detergent of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond bought a sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thor, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? Could you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Jesus Christ, these ads! ...being a murderous child pornographer. In a world where people live and die. <laughs> you think you can just go in there and handle this by yourself? If that's what it takes, he was about to meet his greatest foe. Kill them all! All of them! And a girl. Hello. Hi. And a comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. No, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that other movie that was slightly popular, and what's her name, from that show you sometimes watch. In a movie with two spectacular CGI battle sequences and an advertising campaign that will leave you no choice but to see this film. See it, because it's a movie, and all your friends are going. In theaters Friday, and on DVD in three months. Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town, or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Deb of Night. Let's, let's listen to some Deb as well. First thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the lucky... Caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. 
Vigo. So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh -huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Um, yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. Caller two, you're on. Vigo kind of sounds like the ghoul from Hollywood Cemetery. Yeah. Hello, caller. Hi, Gip. Is tonight a rerun? Gip. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report this stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? The people need to hear this. They need to know the real stuff. Okay, Gomez, we're listening. Divided attention. Mm -hmm. a secret. But what most people don't know is that they have been conducting a dig, not for resources, but for artifacts. I see. Well, it's no coincidence that the Chinese have started conducting space missions. You know why? I'll tell you why. The reason is because the Chinese are trying to stop the Americans from finding an ancient space probe sent by the Beta Centaurians. And why? Because the Beta Centaurians are giving space technology to the Chinese to get back at the Andromedans, a.k.a. the Greys, for giving space technology to the Americans in the 50s. Fascinating. Uh huh. American government's been putting more money into space. Don't you see what's happening? I can't believe I'm the only one that's figured it out. Am I the only person alive that can see what's going on? It's because the Andromedans and the Betas are going to be fighting their war in this galaxy through us, Deb. And the American people, the people of Earth, you people, cannot let this happen. It's move versus at last all over again. Thank you, Gomez. And that concludes the news portion of the show. Well, this girl's got to pay her bill, so it's time for a few commercials. But don't go anywhere. I'm just getting warmed up, or should I say, hot. Friggin' chicken recently challenged several random. Ah, there we go. Back to friggin' chicken again. Alrighty then. I think we have exhausted the radio. I love their commercials. I love the fact that one of the politicians is literally just blackmailing the other one. It's not even blackmail. It's it's libel. It's libel. Um, they're like, he never said that he was not. Uh, no. A child murdering rapist? Uh. Would you like your politician to be a child murdering rapist? I bet you wouldn't. I bet you wouldn't. I'm looking for a red car. Guess that is a lit diary. And we have read it before. And now, now we know where she is. Or at least we should. And I have a straight road there, honestly. Like the last place she was, was a blood bank. We can ask the Go directly. I want to see. I want to say that the person that works here is a go of somebody's because he's friggin' creepy, man. Next up for the needle, hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? You're offering? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? But this this game makes me feel like I should get fake fangs, man. Um, I need to get into the back room, actually. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. It's okay. The queen bitch gave me her okay. Go ahead, call her. She did, huh? Queen Bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Go ahead, call her. Mm. Opened. Don't worry, I won't make too much of a mess. Oh my god, we're getting into all of the good places this time around. 
I mean, we already could get it through the janitor's room, but still. Now can I please see the freezer password? Passcode, yes, that one. One nine six nine. One nine six nine. Oh, 1969, for the time of your life. Alternatively, if you want to unlock a, re a refrigerator. Um, I... I will need more persuasion. So an extra scholarship would actually be kind expensive. But what else does it... research and persuasion. There we go. Now we're very persuasive. Very persuasive. Why is there so much blood on the door, though? Hi! Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue. Sliding down my throat, the hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. That's probably because you're in a place that has a lot of blood. What happened to you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Calm down. Tell me who you are. Let me go. What would you give me for letting you go? Anything. Let me go. I think I'll go and buy a bag for you. Let me go. I should have some bags of blood in my inventory. I don't think that she's gonna take it. Hold still. I'll let you go. You don't look well at all. Oh, oh sweet mother of God! <laughs> I'm like, uh Hmm. The heat. Mm. It's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? The beast took over! It happens! Especially when somebody keeps you locked up for six months. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it... Feel so right. Because you're an undead monster! Jesus. Calm down, it's okay. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Lily? You're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I said I would help him. What do you know about Thinbloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go and see E on the beach. He says he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? 
No, quite the opposite. You should talk to him. Go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, about tonight, what I did. Please don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Well, you are now, and I'm pretty sure E is gonna be one day too. I promise I won't, though. Just out. Go, go. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. I am so confused. What are you? What are you? I mean, you don't have teeth. Are you a ghoul? You're lucky. If I hadn't freed her, her friends were gonna shoot up the place. That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. Or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. I'm not killer. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. Whatever. Ah, I lost my blood supply. That's not good. Blood don't grow on trees. What can I do to make up for the girl I freed? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Why don't I pay you an amount you think is fair to overlook this? Fair? How fair? Okay, I can- I can buy my way through this. So I don't really need... To, um... To solve this immediately, but nice to know that I can't buy my way through this. I don't... Need to find somebody. So if I was gonna find somebody... The thin blood that ends up being left on the pier, that's a possibility. A bloody murder, a stress is riddle. Santa Monica Sweets. Okay. Okay, we can drop back down at her house. And then afterwards we can visit the pier again. blood buff my way into the apartment. Pretty sure I can anyway. Oh, Santa Monica Sweets! Wrong apartment! He's living in the fancy place! I'm living in the shitty place! Fair! Fair enough! <laughs> now I remember. This place was unlocked. Tattoo parlor key. Ah, uh, Amalia's poster again. 
So you wanna shoot things? Sure. Sure, I wanna shoot things. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. That two parlor. We got the key. This chest is probably locked quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm thinking I will want to invest into the ability to unlock shit. Um, mainly because we can enter some fun places later on. Not necessarily. Let's say it like that. I, I will need to invest some points into shooty weapons. And I will get myself a flamethrower. I do want to level up Thaumaturgy though, and use Thaumaturgy as my primary way of functioning. I'm here early again, am I not? Um, I need the tattoo parlor. Which I believe is this way. Guys, back on the corner. I'm still okay with blood. Gimbal's prosthetics. Hi, is this Gimbal's prosthetics? I know that you haven't even called me, but I'll just hold the phone. Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? I'm using his phone, but he doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? No, I'm looking for him myself. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? He's just an old friend. Oh, I, I see. Could you answer a few questions for me? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Buzz, buzz, buzz! I'll buzz myself in. The cash from... Why would you have this? As a screenshot on... On your wall. Also... Anything interesting around here? Okay, this is fairly small. The tattoo parlor is fairly simple. Oh, got my feedback. There we go. I'm just having a fly bat around the locations this time around because why not? Oh, that means that we can break into Gimbal's... Gimbal's mutilated man room. Eh. Let's do that. Yes? May I help you? I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thank you. I like being buzzed in. It's very buzzy. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? <laughs> yes, the, the man room. The, the room where they store man. Yes, Sam, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Let's talk about Mr. McGee. Mm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. 
Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't show up? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. Apparently he printed them and took... And posted it on his own walls, which is really weird. I see, does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Yeah, that sounds great. I would oh, appreciate it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks, oh, I'll wait here. You have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. Oh, thank you. What? I hate that the game makes you wait and you can't just run after him. Yep, Carnival of Death. We have already seen it. Oh, hey, look, it's the nightmare fuel room. Blood packs all mine, especially because I can't buy any. Yeah, he's not creepy at all. That's a perfectly normal statement to make. I don't actually think that there was anything that I could pick up in any of these rooms. Thankfully, at the moment, the game kind of expects me not to know many things. So it's fine. Combat's a bit harder later on. Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, how do I open this door? What are you Yeah, you just continue vomiting blood. Fuck it, you know what? I'll get some blood. Later on. He just vomited full six liters of blood. That worked. It's a bit weird, but it worked. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, I take it. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I give him the bad news. See ya. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. You better do. Take care. Is he dead? That's my question. Oh yes, my skirt is just physics galore. That's what it is. Now let's no clip. There we go. I'm pretty sure he's very dead. Definitely looks dead to me. That's his private rooms. That's the corridor. What? Oh. Okay. Got it? 
You can you can take some feet through the wall. Not weird at all. <laughs> well, we found him. Yep, Gimbal was just a really shitty human. And I did make him throw up all of his blood contents. I am not too sure that I feel sorry. I actually don't feel sorry. Crab nipples my favorite too, man. Well, I mean, all it took was for me to make him vomit his blood three times. Thank you for following the left-handed dude. Um... I mean, his... My melee attacks would bounce off him, but at the same time... I have no melee skill and he was using a... Weapon. Somebody's limb. Well, yeah! <laughs> It's like that ultimate weapon, making other people throw up their blood. That's a shiny cluster of people. I'm looking for anyone that might be standing remotely enough for me to just be able to grab a bite. I think you should do. It's very open, but... I'm not too sure I can actually attack anyone else, but I can try. Well, what about this guy? Yep. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just feeding on the homeless population here, don't mind me. Hey, at least that works! Now I just need to remember that I have nearly drained three people because if I drain them again, they're gonna die. Yeah, crab nipple. What's shaking? I found Carson, unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Carson said he's moving on. He never liked you. No, I won't be. <laughs> His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. You know you have a second hand. Leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. And you can always wield swords. Just, just a suggestion. What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long. Put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? You haven't fired me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks. Now about that job. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all. I mean, four. Get me another four and, and the whole hand. This guy skipped town or what? Sounds fun. You got a deal. Great, great. All right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Hello, gunners. What's the latest conspiracy? Sounds dangerous. Do you know where I can get a gun or two? Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so we <laughs> I, don't, I don't, don't sell guns um, to anyone, but just tell him all we'll set you up all right. <laughs> um... Okay, you kind of have a... What if I grabbed a weapon like this? <laughs> um... Okay. Thank you, I'll just head over to Marion's place. That's right. Marianne Murrieta. In them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? I hear ya. Alright, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. <laughs> okay, I'll know as soon as I find out some. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Twist your hand a lot. It's possible. Sorta. 
baby. Okay, so here's my question. Am I just... Can I lockpick this? Oh, fine. I can do this. <laughs> oh, can I break into Bertram's place? So that would be cool, man. I can. Shots. Obfuscate! I can break into your computer for real? Asylum. Run by vampiric systems. I like Jeanette better than Therese. That's an interesting note. <laughs> Gallery Noir. There's a back entrance in the alley. Weak pipes between parking structure and alley could be broken off. Email. Please tell me you secure your email better than you do your notes. No, it's your last name. What, what the hell, Bertram? That's not secure at all. I want to see you too. I'm bored. Uh, you come and entertain me. I'm at the club. XOXO. Ready! The stick in the mud is mad. You better lay low for a while. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, our birdie isn't necessarily here. What does Auspex do again? I have to see the auras of those around you. Well, I mean, he's just crashing here. I'm just- I'm actually checking his place for any auras. I mean, he can be invisible. But it should still work. The aura game should still work. I wasted quite a lot of blood breaking into places where I don't need to be, so, um... Thank you. Thank you for your donation, kind homeless people of Santa Monica. Oh, whoopsie-daisy. Sorry, dudes. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. I didn't feed on the homeless. You're imagining things. Go away. Go away. I is not here. Not here at all. Let's see. We need to see E and... There, we need to break into... Apartment next to me. I should check. Yeah, it was definitely a different skinny goth check. Don't worry about it. Am I wearing a thong? Is that like a belly accessory? Might be like a waist accessory. My waist level is really low. Also, is that... Are my hands covered in... Tattoos? Marker? Or is that something that I got for being a Tremere? Because I don't... I don't actually know. Go away, police! I'll deal with the masquerade violation later. I mean, it's gonna be slightly shitty, because there's gonna be hunters around, but... Eh, not the first time I violated the masquerade! I'll be fine.
Oh wait! Ah! Oh, there we go! Police gave up. It's waiting for the police to give up. Ah! He was right at here! Hello, policeman! I'm doing nothing suspicious and that wasn't me. Whenever we can, we should definitely avoid back alleyways. Just a thought. Don't really wanna run straight into a hunter. But anyways, E my boy! How are you doing? Hey! My Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I kinda like it on my veins, E. Thank you. You're welcome, keep her safe. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't wanna be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I'll think about that, E. Thanks, good luck. Jack comes out of the box. Okay, so the sarcophagus definitely was opened, and it was definitely rigged with explosives. But there is a person named Jack. Was Jack ever in the sarcophagus? If, if the answer is yes, that wouldn't necessarily surprise me. <laughs> yes! We take blood. We don't give it out. You got this thing all the wrong way around, Sonny! Somebody's car is on fire, that's not good. Hello, Calf! We're being super completionist, so we're looking for... Marietta, she's in 507. Right next door to me! Yay! Do I want to blood buff this? Oh, I have enough persuasion by now. I could do with more lock picking either way. Three eight. This will do. Um, I will still need to blood buff myself. But this will do. Downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Okay. Now we know. And I got some XP. Okay, I should actually report that to Arthur. Talk with the Reese, Carnival of Death is starting, and the Regent's Riddle can only be completed in downtown. Did you ask me for werewolf blood yet, computer? A favor. It has come to our attention that a sample- Yep, 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 yep. Got it. I definitely have access to that. I definitely- I, I broke into there multiple times. Multiple ways, in fact. Oh, for fuck's sake! Who saw me? Who saw me? Wasn't anyone to see me? And my masquerade is actually not- What?
No, game, please explain yourself. What? How can the police be hunting me, but I have zero masquerade violations? What did the police want me for? What did I do? That show up as me attacking... T probably. Probably counts as attacking the homeless. I do ba do ba do ba do. Don't mind me. I do what I do. Ah, Tia's door. Do ba do ba do ba do. Hacking is a goal. Unlock. Yes, cabinet. Dope 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 dope. Unlock. Everything's unlocked. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but okay, the better question is what did I do that they know about? That's security. That's the canteen. You have. You literally have. No issue with me being here this time around. Ah, that scared me. Um, I heard a ping. Doopa 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 do. Away we go. <laughs> you say, in order to get caught committing a crime. You actually have to get caught. Can't just not get caught and be counted as having committed a crime. That's not how crimes work. So. I swear I took it. Oh, there we go. There goes the, the blood. Blood went into the mailbox where it belonged. It's living a happy, bloody life in there. Mask what wait with them shin For some reason despite the fact that I had a violation it didn't count so it's fine. Uh, hey, hey. Hello uh, how's it going? You um looking to buy or sell or Um <sighs> A little birdie told me that you have weapons. Oh damn it, who told you that? Ah uh, yes. Kill Patrick. All right, look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. How many it's people did Kill Patrick hire just out of interest? Precisely legal. If you catch my drift here. Understand? Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. Cleanest nose in the universe. All right, come take a look then. Yeah, so as always, he doesn't actually have much things. The stuff was rebalanced. Nobody is gonna need estrogen or the watch. Who's gonna need that? That's the question. That's another hormone pill. Already gave out the morphine. Not really sell astrolite. Sorry, can't really sell that. Gonna need it. <laughs> If only I could actually break in into his place, I could feed on him. I mean, I can no-clip it, but I ain't gonna. 
I only know clip things to look at things out of interest. They don't know clip in order to cheat and get some blood off a person. That seems wrong. And we're all about the right things in here. Anyways! Kill Patrick, my boy! People were ditching! Okay, they ditched out of town. Hey there, hot stuff! I got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He skipped town. He floods somewhere downtown. Alright then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Not really. It's outfit per area. So you can buy a downtown outfit, you can buy a Hollywood outfit, and you can buy a Chinatown outfit. And each one of them increase your armor rating, so you kind of want to do that. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thank you. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Later. Ah! Okay. Solved majority of our life's problems. Broke into Bertram Tonk's place. Don't suppose I can... No, this one's like permanently locked. I don't think that I'll get lucky enough to get into Teresa's or Vorman's computer. But I got into Bertram's computer. I hope he's not gonna be too upset about that. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? For um, for my venture, I got the Hollywood outfit and I got the downtown outfit. I didn't get the Chinatown one because that would have required me to do a quest. Yep. Frightening isn't the word I would use. Exciting is more like it. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses. When we get turned on. There's bound to be flames. What's your name? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Her lipstick is so perfect. I always smudge mine. Aren't you a tease? Got a name I can remember you by. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos... <laughs> oh yes, we're like fire hoses, which spray water everywhere. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. I'll be soon enough. I wasn't asking. Now we're gonna attempt to get out of here because um, YouTube hates this club. I'm looking for Therese. Where can I find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I called earlier. I have an interview for a part-time hostess position. Damn. I wish it was my job. Go on up to see her. Thanks, bye. He wants to be a part-time hostess? Oh, I can't just imagine that guy in a hostess outfit. What do hostesses do? Can I just call myself a hoe? Hey, it ain't too bad. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica, not stuck up bit. <laughs> oh, I can't even look at you sometimes. <laughs> Screw me to the mains and I'll drown you. For real? I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the fight of you. The sight of that 
wicked painted pout, concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin, you have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. You know, this is really bizarre, knowing that they're arguing with themselves. It means that one of them literally stamped their feet. Hi! Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Okay, let's not try to mind control her, because we did once and that didn't work out. Um, I guess that means that you're Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? I need you to call off the feud with Bertram Tung. Tung's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Says the woman with a fractured mind. Why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Oh yeah! Yeah, because they were like completely different things. That means that she like... Well, Kavians can't do the very fast movie thing though. Yeah, she could have picked it up. So like, she ran for the bathroom, changed her clothes, and came back out. Then you can put out the word that you got no feud with him? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? That's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Gladly. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Sure, I'll do it if you promise to go off the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Mmm, tasty gold ice cream. Fine, goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. How they just climb the gates? I mean, it has... It exits into the outside somewhere. Can't I just climb the gate? That's what it takes to get the job if done. Excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Right, I have some computers to break in. I hope all of you are fine with that. Contacts. Oh, me. Uh, my key. Birdie. Oh, at Freknet! Oh, wow. They're actually using their own domain. Arthur is just a phone number. Jeff is just a phone number. Sarah. Is it the Jack that I'm thinking about? Oh, it's a jack of sorts. It's a jack of sorts! 
e email, please. Wishes. I'll be hiding out until your sister calms down. Let her know I pose no threat and have her contact me when all is well. Friday night for Mikey! Hey! What are you doing on Friday night? I was thinking about stopping by the club. Maybe we can do some <laughs> dancing? Santa Monica is my city. You dirty little slut! How dare you meddle in the affairs of my city? And with that, discussing Nosferatu no less. What did, what did they do? What did they do? I'm not going to be breaking into Teresa's computer while Teresa's in front of it. That sounds like a really, really bad life decision. I'm going to break into her computer when she's not around. See, we are getting new info. By breaking into people's computers. Broke into Birdie's computer. Broke into Teresa's computer. Or rather Jeanette's. One of them. They're the same person either way. Now these sewers, they're actually quite square. So it's not that it's actually super like hard to figure out where to go, it's just that I'm really bad with direction. They also have a map on every corner. You mean the spoilers that I'm gonna break into her computer? That spoiler. I do kind of want to be good at lockpicking and hacking. It's just like extra information and shows. That computer's off. Oh, come on, go. Stop being mean. Let me out. Thank you for letting me out. Okay! We definitely. Ooh. Overflowed. Render list. Cool. Um. We definitely could have gone here without the sewers. And we probably would have needed to have taken a walk, but still. And no clip around here. For a bit. So that's the backdrop. Yeah, with this place, I feel like they only modeled just about what they needed to. Ooh. Oh, that's half a model, even. But they did do, like, full two blocks on the pier, despite not needing to do them. Yes, but you sacrifice quite a lot for it. You sacrifice being able to be good at other shit. I don't need seduction, that's for sure. I would like lockpicking and hacking though. I didn't think that that- Oh, cool. Don't think that I've seen them before there. Let me just walk through. That way. That will be fine. I will need to learn some shooting though. Child severed head found in the hotel room. Be fair, 
Yeah, my current, like, biggest nemesis is Ming Zhao. If it wasn't for Ming Zhao, I could, I could do majority of this game without that much stats. Nope, that's not the boiler room. I'm just great with- that's the boiler room. I'm great with directions. I know that some people say that you can see him around here as well. Uh, I might want to be careful. I mean, I kind of got very owie. But boiler room with ice with rice, some um, child's head with rice. <laughs> what are we eating? <laughs> are we going up or down? Up, okay. Yes. The woman that I did really badly with. The last time around. This will keep me alive for a bit. Please say second child was chopped up like firewood. I think I closed the door on the ghost. Sorry, ghosty. What? We don't eat Ming Zhao with rice. Okay. Got it. Upstairs key. Yep, I'm out. Yep, yep. Jing jing. Jing jing to you too. Yes, yes, yes. Big, big, big door. Big bad door. Okay, this this room had nothing. This room just had some innocent ghost guests. Yes, innocent ghosts, as opposed to these damn dirty, guilty ones. Ocean House killer, possibly responsible for Inferno. Alternatively, there was a killer and a pyromaniac in the house at the same time. Never know. Oh, come on, she's very tentacly. It would be like eating squid. Okay, I will. I will. I will. I will. But. Come on, ghost. Ghost, ghost. Ghost, ghost. Ghost, ghost! Okay! Let him come faster. I need him to open the door. Um. Door, please. Ah! Door, 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 door. Door, 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 door. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's her diary. We have already had read, read this one, except that someone please help the writing trails off at the end of the page. So when she was dying, she spent her last breath writing into a diary. Um, I don't know how that was supposed to help, but what do I know? Um, let's not get crushed by the elevator. That's the thought. Okay, ghost. Could you give me a direction, please? Oh yeah, it is. I have seen people write essays on this level. Mainly because it 
it completely takes you out of the rest of the game. It up, 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 up. goodbye. Um You not You stop smacking things into me, please. Because it's just so different. But it, this isn't like the only level that's different. If you look at the sewers. That, that level, a lot of people refer to it as a pain in the ball sack. But that level is also pretty different. And people take offense that the sewer level is different, but... But literally in this whole game, every single level is different. Blood heal. Up that that bit fiery. Fire bad. Steam hurty. Steam hurty a lotty. of the restored room. I like the idea of the kid crying as well. I want to see if this is the only place that changes though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it directly below us. It's like the regular room, how this room normally looks like. Up, up, up. And unfortunately, this is the only room that gets renovated by spooky ghost magic. It's a shame. I would have loved for more rooms to be renovated by spooky ghost magic. I got stuck on the door. Um... Owie. I didn't want to go that low. Um, is this low enough? Don't jingling at me, ghosts! I'm leaving. I I got what I wanted, which is the pendant. Now, it is true that you can exercise spirits, and it is true that the killer was obsessed about the pendant, and that's why he murdered her to begin with, because, um, you know, her mom sent the pendant, and her hubby thought that it was a secret admirer and not her mom, and it kind of went loopy, but everything's like so super haunted in there like it's not it's not one ghost it's her her husband and all of the kids and i'm not too sure that the kids are attached to anything so um i don't actually know how they're planning on exercising that but hey not my problem Anyone wants to take a piss down the alleyway? By any chance, it could could use a blood bag on feet, legs. Feet, legs, same thing. Either way, I could use a blood bag. Hey, let's see if my non-existent seduction would work. I did have some seductive lines. Hey! Oh, good! Since I walked in here, I've, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> mm. 
I wish that I was a better painter so that I could capture your face for ages. Mm. How about a kiss before I go? <laughs> Need a piss down that creepy old alleyway? You sure you don't? <laughs> Okay, time to save. And this time we need to flirt with her, but not take her to her bedroom. Contacts. Ooh, business. Oh, a cross. Hong. Local Nosferatu, interesting. Interesting description. Community construction. Disc jockey. What bank manager? Okay. Fair enough. Art coordinator. Now what? What? What about your email? One Baroness Three! Okay! Nectar of the Gods. Miss Warman, your humble servant, has done his all to provide you with yet another batch of the finest sanguine spirits. And I apologize for not pouring it when you asked last time. Forgive me, unlike you, I'm an imperfect being. That sounds like he's her ghoul! Wouldn't surprise me. Look, Miss Warman, I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work there anymore. They say it's haunted. Why are you always so mean? Birdie's not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. Okay. Be polite. Be nice. Don't get into her pants. Let's do this. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Actually, I need to see the Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, start offering free drinks like this for all. <laughs> it's like you just wait an hour for their body to process it while staring at them intently. I need to give something to Therese, it's from the hotel. Ooh. <laughs> Can I see it? I'd rather give it to Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? No. Please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you... I have no flesh and blood, huh? Um... I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Therese. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? What will this put a smile on that face? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. Your we sister! that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk.
What do I do? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. All right, I'll go slash the paintings. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. I will oh, never. Something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, duckling. I will never get over about how f perfect her makeup is. Can I break into your bathroom? Yes, I can. Interesting. Oh, that's you have a full-on jacuzzi. Oh, that's a bar of soap. I thought that was a phone. You know, I haven't really owned anything velvet. I, I want to say ever, but I don't know was it ever. It's just... I mostly go with cotton. I have tried linen once, but it's fairly rough. Okay, my email. Email. I should check my email as well. Werewolf money and chess. And maybe we'll pay the ghoul in order to make the not being able to buy things go away. Oh, if you want to talk about sweaty, leather's a lot worse. Um... The one type of leather, yay money, that I'm okay with is leather jackets. Because they're actually really, really good against wind. Better than a lot of winter coats even. But, leather pants, leather corsets, ooh, that's... That's asking for sweatiness right there. Email. Nicely done. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. I have. I definitely have. See, let's see, let's see. How much experience do I have? Nine. How much does my next do? Oh, and but I really want my next dramaturgy level. I really do. <laughs> ah, you would like a sweaty corset, wouldn't you? Okay. No problem. Make ghoul sell blood to me. Taking care of the issue right now. Blood don't grow on trees. Why don't I pay two hundred to forget the girl? Fair enough. Maybe another time, but not a word about what happened. Thank you. <gasps> it's the precise amount of experience that I required. Ah! Blood shield! Blood shield! Okay, this will go absolutely horrifying. Steel corset, eh? Because, well, um... That's a blood shield, it's not very offensive. Can I sweet talk you, Munchkin? Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Didn't you get the call? Huh? 
what call are you talking about there, Missy? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm pulled their art from the show. And who might you be then, Missy? I'm the museum museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah, that pay well. If taking one look at you, I'd say no. Uh, no shame in that. Uh, us working class folks gotta look out for our own. You get a promotion. You just called me ugly. An old chunk of bear claw and a cup of joe. Deal. Look, uh, I'll let you in, but I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my shift. Uh, just so you're aware. I would expect it. Better file a 45B as well, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B, huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night. See ya. Um, I hope that the 45B wasn't something absolutely awful. I mean, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Neither do I, but... um. What if it's like, I don't know, public indecency? Okay. Stabby stab stab, brother stab stab. Cursey curse 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 curse. Happy, happy girlfriend time. Happy dead girlfriend time. There we go. <laughs> Drunk in charge of a clown. I can't believe that Blood Purge works in a bloody blood guardian. Um, I would honestly think that it wouldn't. There's just two creatures made out of blood duking it out right now. One of them obviously being me. puddle and I'm leaving it everywhere where I go um this is perfectly normal I am only painting your gallery red well actually it did, it did. <laughs> even though I can't do combat it went well yeah Whoa. So, how do I deactivate? There has to be an off button to my blood shield somewhere. And the disciples FA. Fair enough. Good. Let's not be a walking blood bag when we walk out. You know, an idea. Any pissing people? No. That's unfortunate. I really need to start buying people beers, honestly. That was an actual good idea. Are you both going for a piss at the same- No, oh, you're going for a phone. New Th thank you for following!
Leobardo. You are going for a piss, though. I'm so totally saving. Lovely evening. Oh, you're saying lovely evening while you're taking a piss. That's a very interesting choice of things to do, but... Thank you. Thank you for your blood sacrifice! Much appreciated! Good question, dude. Good question. Floor second, Hotel Trivago. Sister Doris. What were you thinking? Uh the museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Wait. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as Tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I didn't do it, I swear. Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. I swear I didn't do it. I even brought you the item from the Ocean House Hotel and a diary from there. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her, but let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes! There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Well, how do I do that? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. If the Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back, I will get her sister back. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. Alright, I'll take care of it. Okay, the diner! With lots of hitmen, coming right up. Diner, Hitman, Hitman, Diner. The two go like a match made in heaven! Woo! Save. Um... Once again, we have fuck all with us, so this is... Poor guys. Save. you have just successfully died which is good hi I'm sorry but this is slightly like revving a badly oiled car um I'll come back for you in a second Alternatively, you can come to me. Hey, 
There we go. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Om nom nom nom. I will answer in a second. Okay, I can't go through the back door. I'm good. I'm alive. I'm good. I ate them. Blood purge works really well. Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to cure you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this town <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Okay! Need to successfully leave this building and hide in the sewer. Actually, no police! Interesting. Is that because I just killed everybody with blood per- Make everybody vomit blood! That will solve all of your life's issues, including police. Including police. I did not expect that. Interesting. Our experience isn't too bad. Yes. Make sure to make everybody vomit blood. Alrighty, alrighty. Glad we had this talk. Save. Hi, my shadow has arrived. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. You poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a- You don't say a word about father! Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Why are you both fighting? I was about to ask, why didn't you sire your daddy? But then I remembered that you shot your daddy dead because he was abusing you. Yeah, who the end? You have a lot of issues. Have you considered seeing a vampire psychologist or like assigning one or like getting one? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Oh, Do that's shade. how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear <laughs> before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Somebody just needs to offer that service, really. Both of you, please stop. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up. Just shut up! Stop it right now, both of you. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery, her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? 
You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If we had if a vampire me, therapist, it wouldn't me be Remember? me doing this right now. Us, but I refuse. And I wouldn't need to raise my persuasion. It so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. If you both want to continue to exist, you're gonna have to live with one another. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Both of you have been working against one another. Together, you would be a power. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. How old were you when you did all of these? Don't want to imagine a nine-year-old doing it and the portrait on your wall of you as little girls don't help. That's all in the past. Forget about it. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't I forgot her. where I asked. Therese walked in while he was there and she saw me lying with him and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. No matter what happened, you two need to each other to move on. Why? How will this time be any different? Think of how powerful you could be if you work together. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction. Which is something a pigtailed, face-painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. The race led to not have more responsibility. More responsibility? So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. I mean, shaking decks is good too. Jeanette, stop sabotaging your sister's plans. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous. I and you believe the attention it. bit. If you call a truce and run this place equally, there's no need to kill each other. If she would stop treating me like a child. If she would start behaving like a rational adult. You both must have gotten along at one time. Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times, before we grew apart. Don't really want to kill each other, do you? I never did. No, I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give... Offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tongue? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me the gun, Therese. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. We did it. We did it! Ah! Did it! Ah! I knew I knew that I can do it. I knew that I can reunite sisters again. Because I did it before, which means that I could do it. And I did it. Thank you.
Goodbye! Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince, and keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. Tourette! Oh my god! The... <laughs> their combined name and the subtitles is Tourette. <laughs> On my wall! I wanna be proud! And here's our Nossie. Here is our Nossie. But we're gonna stop right here today. Right in front of the same warehouse that we stopped at when I was playing as Ventrue as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching. And when I am back, I will be back with more bloodlines. And we are gonna spend so much time in downtown because there's like side quest missions everywhere for like forever. So thank you for watching. And yeah, night night.